Okay, we're here to talk about the end of the mat lock. So basically, this is the end, the last video I'm going to make of it. And this is what I have to say. The opening of Arizona Ice Tea. All I'm going to say is, is that this was, I can't wait, couldn't wait till it was over. People are right when they leave the comments and said, the show was good maybe for the, or decent for the first four or five seasons. And then it just took a tail spin or a nosedive and that was it. And that's exactly what happened. The last two episodes were horrible to end this show. And from what I understand, they dragged on, um, Andy Griffith further than he wanted to go. I don't think he wanted to do the show as long as they were doing it. And I, I think they dragged him on at least another two or three seasons. If that's the case, I hope not, because the guy shouldn't have had to waste more of his life doing this. Okay, um, the heist. Thursday, uh, we'll, leave, we'll do the dates for this. Thursday, April 27th, 1995. When Billy comes into money, he takes Ben on, on holiday only to encounter... Agent Ed Wingate from the FBI on an undercover mission. 8.3 out of 10, 112. The dumbest episode I've ever seen. The guy just wore sunglasses the whole time, but they weren't even good sunglasses. They were cheesy ones to make him look like an idiot. I mean, I know this is kind of like a, um, the show is, the show is supposed to have a little comedy to it, but the sunglasses he, he, he was wearing were just plain dumb. Um, all right, so... That got an 8.3 out of 10, if I didn't say it already, with 112. There's not enough ratings on these episodes to get a real feel for what people think of the show. I'm sorry. Um, then the, the Scam, episode 15. So there's only 15 episodes in the whole season 9. Ben sidelines plans to attend a class reunion when Cliff is accused of murder. 8.2 out of 10, 101. Um, people rated it. I thought this episode was stupid too. And to tell you the truth, I didn't really pay attention good to either one of these because they were terrible. Plus, I was there was other things I wanted to organize around my house, or like like some of my stuff. And I don't wanna. Oh, it doesn't look like it, but <laughs> there's some stuff I wanted to move. And um, I didn't care. I didn't, I really didn't care. Uh, I usually people get all hyped up at the ending to a TV show, but not with this one. This one was not did not live up to its reputation. Oh yeah, and I think it got like a seven point one on IMDb. Or was it a six point nine? Somewhere around there. It got around the same thing as um, Murder She Wrote. But Murder She Wrote was a completely different show. Um it ended the same way. Uh but you know what? More people watched Murder She Wrote. It was on for thirteen seasons. This show was on for nine. There's four more seasons. My fav favorite episode episode of Murder, She Wrote, is when she solved the murder from her bedroom whilst, while she was sick. Never left the bedroom the entire time. I thought that was the most hilarious thing ever. That's just not possible. But, but that's what happened. Um, if you want, I'll t oh, let me give you some advice. Now that there's nothing to talk about with the show, with the episodes, how, how are you going to buy this? There's two ways you can buy it. You can buy it the way I did with the individual cases, which if I knew the show was going to be this bad, maybe I would have tried to, um, actually no, I would have bought individual cases either way. Or you can buy them in those big cases that are compacted with all the discs and like one big thing like my Dexter movies. I showed you that the other day. Um, the problem with that is, is that they, the discs get all messed up and stuff. Is this a must-have to collection? Absolutely not. I would stay away from it. There are better shows you can collect than Matlock. I'll tell you that much. At least a murder she wrote. Um, you know, she was, she was, um, she was pretty good. But it, all these shows seem to t take a nosedive after four or five seasons. Just like all the Star Treks. Every Star Trek was good for a while. Well, actually, no. Every St Star Trek started really bad, and then. Usually, usually got better. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this, but I'm just saying. With these shows, they were pretty good at the beginning. They got a lot better in this after season after season, and then they took a nosedive, like what Matlock did. Um, the whole what I another thing I didn't understand was Don Knotts. Uh, when did he he didn't die during this show? Did he? Let me look it up. I think if that's what his name was, Don Knotts. I didn't see Donuts. Don Knotts. Okay. 
Here we go. I got it right. I got the right guy. He died in 2006. So they could have kept him on the show a lot longer than they did. He was a funny next door neighbor. Instead, to replace him, they bring in the father of um, of um, Cliff. And he's funny. Oh, is he the same guy? No, he's not the same guy. Uh, he's funny, but he's not anything close to a Don Knotts was. And I don't understand why they took him. Then they brought his, his uh, someone to play, um, to play Matlock's daughter on the show, and she wasn't on the show very long before she took a hike too. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why are they doing this to people? I mean, why why would they screw somebody over with such a terrible ending, and then in several seasons of um unwatchable content? People don't believe me. You try to watch it. See if you like it. Don't try streaming this show. It's bad enough on DVD. Imagine how it's going to look on a TV through a streaming service. In fact, I have no idea who's streaming it. Um, so yeah, DVD might be the only option. It all depends. Usually there's a streaming service for everything. But you're not... Well, I'm not there's the, how do I put it? There's rare movies and stuff that you have to buy. And maybe some TV shows, but a TV show like Matlock, usually you'd be able to find it somewhere. Um, this is definitely a show I would never physically spend money on. In, f in fact, but it's not a movie I'll offload. The, um, the one I want to get rid of is the original, um, not the original, the remake of MacGyver. I'll easily give that away to anyone in five seconds. I couldn't get past the second, I think it was the second season. It was just so bad. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.